Come with me as I show you how to create this epic laptop transition in DaVinci Resolve in less than two minutes. Set up your camera so you're filming DaVinci Resolve with a clip queued up to playback. Hit record on your camera, play the clip in DaVinci Resolve, then slowly tilt the computer screen down all the way. Make sure that the edges of the computer screen reach the sides of the frame. Now let's open up DaVinci Resolve. Here we have the clip that we just shot. I'm gonna make some basic adjustments. In the inspector, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, move the X position over so the computer screen is more centered, come down to the lens correction and just straighten up the edges a little bit. Then I'm gonna right click and select new fusion clip, then go into fusion. I'm gonna to scroll to the point where the laptop screen is about halfway. With the media in once selected, I'm gonna add a polygon node. In the right hand side, select invert. Draw one straight point across the screen, right at the edge of the laptop screen, and then draw a box like this and complete the loop. Scroll a few frames forward in your timeline, highlight these points, drag this down. Make sure it matches up with the laptop screen. Repeat this process until the laptop is all the way closed. Follow the top of the laptop with these points until it's all the way closed. Scroll through the timeline and do it until it's all the way open. Using the arrow keys, scrub through the entire clip to make sure that the mask follows the top of the laptop. If it doesn't, make your adjustments on that specific frame. Then continue to scrub through the footage. Once completed, come over here to the right hand side, select settings, select motion blur, and turn that up to 10. Now bring the clip that you're playing in DaVinci Resolve that you wanna transition into, find the point of where it starts to mask, and drag the clip underneath. This next step is optional, but I think it blends the two clips together pretty well. With the clip that we're transitioning into, come up here to the effects, go down to open effects and type in lens and find the lens blur. Drag that on top of the second clip. Bring the playhead to the beginning of the bottom clip, turn up the blur size a little bit, then select the keyframe. Then scroll the playhead a few frames ahead of the transition, and then let's go ahead and turn the blur size all the way down. Move the playhead right where the transition is occurring, and let's just try to match the blur. So in order to do that, you can come to the very beginning, turn up the blur size or turn down the blur size. In this case, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Then scrub back and the blur looks like it matches the laptop screen. So now here's the final result.